all of my trips get planned the night before. So I get all of my camera gear down here because I wake up at 4 a.m. to leave for most of these trips. The Ridge weatherproof bag comes in the boat. It's great in the salt, great in the rain. Has extra camera gear and lots of snacks for me for the day because I spend like eight to 12 hours out in the boat. Get my water bottle filled. I got my co coffee first thing in the morning because I got to sneak out that door at 4 a.m. and not wake anybody up. That is the plan. So huge thank you again to The Ridge for sponsoring this video and being part of the Bendit channel. I'm gonna leave a code below, Bendit Fishing, to save 15% off your next order. This is a great Father's Day bag right here. I carry all the snacks, and on weekends I carry all the snacks for the kiddo when we're going on weekend hikes and trips. Welcome back to the channel, folks. Uh, if you're super new to the channel, my name is Josh. This is Bennett Fishing, where I do a lot of different types of fishing, but I'm focusing on a lot of fly fishing this year. I kind of like grew up fly fishing a bunch. So today, you're gonna be fly fishing for striped bass. They're in, they're about an hour away from me, uh, no matter which way I go. So we're gonna kind of fish some flats here, fish an outgoing tide. This is kind of like the outro kind of intro at the same time, because it was kind of like dark when I got here. Um, let's see if we can get on them. We're using one fly all day long. Okay, the EP fiber bait fish. Uh, I tied this myself. It is super effective for all different sizes of striped bass. And I'm going to be using the Orvis Recon 909 with the Hydros reel. And this is the uh, saltwater all-rounder line on there. Let's see if we can get on them. It's pretty quiet right now, but I'm waiting for the tide to change. And hopefully uh, fish will start flushing in again. We'll see. Thanks for watching. And I don't want to spook this school, so I'm going to get on the electric juice here. Ooh. They're boiling right beside me here. Looking for fish. It never hurts to troll. These birds are still chilling in this area. I don't think it's catching them right there. That sure looks like a fish right there, doesn't it? All I have is a white fly with a little pink hot spot tail on it. I use on Cape Cod. Oh, right there. Come on. I know you're down there. Oof, there they are. There's like a slight difference in like rip right here. Not a lot, but just a little bit. Oh, oh, I was just tight to one. I was just tight to one, guys. Eat it. I see you. Oh, tight, tight to a striper. Tight to a striper, guys. Tight to a striper. I should be able to just strip him in. Oh, that's a big fish. <laughs> that's a big fish. I'm gonna have to put him on the reel. Uh, yeah, I might have to put him on the reel. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Screaming drag this morning, guys. And I got a pretty heavy leader on. They do not like the net. Yes! First striper of the season. Is a hefty one and uh, under 10 seconds back in the water. I don't know if they're still around here or not, but that was the first one of the season. I'm pumped. 
And there was no, oh, there's one right there. Oh, here they come, here they come. Oh, there's another one. Oh man, this is fun. Oh, that's a bigger one. That's a bigger one. Jeez. And that's that's not YouTube drag, guys. That's striper drag. This is a nine weight, by the way. Orvis Recon 909. Oh, we got fish going right in front of us here. Get over here. My goodness. Yeah, it's a bigger fish, all right. Oh, that's why it's got this fighting butt here. I don't really want to play you this long, buddy. And we don't want to grab anywhere on this top half of the rod. Don't grab. I know everybody wants to do it, even including me. But we don't want to grab on that section of the rod. He's not even close. He's not even close. just doubled over. I might have to go up and start my drift again. I'm way far back from where I was. My drag's turned up pretty hard, guys. This is a bigger fish, of course, and I'm using tons of side pressure, uh, up current and down current. This is like a 25 inch or something like that. And he wants nothing to do with coming near the boat. Nothing. Come on, fish. Behave for me. There we go. Second one of the day. Hook was nicely pinned. Uh, I don't need to get a measurement on them, but I will real quick. And, uh, that's a 27 and a half, going back in. Let's go back up and start a drift again, I guess. Whew. Birds are a little bit more working in that section right there. I'm hoping I can fly the drone up, um, but we have kind of a a slightly different rip and current here because we have an outgoing tide. That might be fish. I'm not sure. Let's see if we can find them again. Because that is sick. Unless we see the birds or uh, or the fish doing something else. I'm not seeing anything and I'm drifting way faster than I was before. Uh, and these are flies that I tie myself. Um, they're basically just an AP fiber bait fish, if you're wondering what it is. And I'll, and I'll show, show them to you. Uh, if you want one, um, I don't commercially tie or anything like that, but I will tie some up for you and they work pretty much all year for stripers. So, oh, some birds working over there. Well, there's birds, it's not always fish, but it doesn't hurt to try. We want to get close and we want to uh, turn off that gas motor so we don't scare any fish down and just start casting. Oh, there's a fin right there. Uh, maybe not, I don't know. Piece of seaweed. Oh yeah, they're boiling right there. Oh, right there. It's a little easier when the trolling motor is down. And out of my way. Oh my goodness, guys. There's fish everywhere. Tight, 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 tight. 
Tight, tight, tight. <laughs> oh, this is what freaking why you wake up at 4 a.m., boys and girls. This is why you wake up at 4 a.m. So many fish. I don't know if I could fly the drone up without uh, without one of these uh, birds trying to attack it. They've done it before. It's probably not ready, but I'm gonna try anyways. Oh, this is super hard to do alone. Get in the net. Oh, he was almost in the net. <sighs> Hooks out, another big schoolie. Going back in. Come on, come on, come on. Got him. Got him, got him, got him. But he's got all the pressure on me in the world right now. He's working that, working that current for sure. There we go. Stripers on the flies, boys and girls. Going back in. Whew! That was a pain in the ass. Fish will usually stack up behind. You know, they kind of act like trout. They stay in the current, stay where the fish is, the bait is. I got a fairly short leader on this now, but that's okay. Not much shorter than before, but. Let's uh, strip up here and let's see if we can go find some fish that are bumping on the surface here. Two seals over here. Probably means there's plenty of bait over here. And also plenty of nervous stripers. If I was to guess, guys. I'm a pretty good guess. That was a sturgeon. 100% sure that was a sturgeon. So what's happening in front of us is there's a shallow area and the current's still going out for the next little bit here. It's also a river. So there's always gonna be current going out. It might not be completely slack, but it'll be, uh, stuff will always be moving. So we have a shelf and then we have a drop off. Uh, so we're on 11 feet now. What happens is a little whirlpool kind of happens behind that. And that's where um, bait fish will stack up. That's where schoolies will stack stack up kind of right behind that and uh, wait for prey to kind of dump over just like a like just like a trout would they're pretty predictable most of the time I'd like to drop you guys some some intel on how to find these guys and I'm just guessing that they're over here I'm not seeing any bird activity or anything like that like that Oh, oh my goodness, that was a big fish. <sighs> I couldn't strip anymore because I had it under my arm. Ooh, that was a fish too. I'm gonna back the boat up here a little bit. That was a high 20s. Ooh, just had another one come and chase that. The third fish I've missed right here, guys. Third. Or well, they're not used to. 
I don't know if they're hiding right in this rip or not. Oh, they are right in the rip. Oh. Not good, not good. Oh, come on. There we go. Finally got one. I had to do a combo of a, uh... oh my good goodness. I gotta get him out of the current before he pulls me downstream. I'm not moving, buddy. I'm just getting him on the reel. Make my life a little easier. <laughs> oh, I have the best job in the world. Big old schoolies. Big old schoolies. I need to catch these this, week this weekend. There's another one. Yeah. And I know for a hundred percent there's more in there. I just gotta strip it faster than the current. Oh jeez. Louise. Oh my heart's gonna be so tired tomorrow. Good thing this has a fighting butt. Well, not a crazy fight. Get away from the trolling motor. Smallest one of the day. Going back in. Oh! Oh, there's one. That's a bigger one. One after another. Let me get the other camera set up so you guys can see this in 4K. Get out of the current. Worked them perfectly. What's nice about this spot, you know, compared to the other ones, is the fish are gonna be here for a little while because they're stuck behind, not stuck behind the current, but they're they're chilling behind the current. And so one of the reasons I'm doing this underhand thing is one, it prevents me from doing a trout strike because my hand's not on the rod. <laughs> schoolies keep falling in, like small schoolies. Two, it allows me to strip super fast because I have current coming right towards me. And so I have to beat that current in order to uh, feel the fish if I can't, s ooh. I might have to change flies. These. These stripers are catching on to it, or they're not used to something going that fast. Let's see if I can slow it down a little bit. I might have to put top water on and see if they want it. They're right there. Right there. Tiny one. No. Tiny one. Tiny ones that fight though. These ones are the ones that like get all tore up and bleed almost instantly. I don't know why. Small one, that's why. <laughs> 